Ah, liwanagin lang po natin. Sabi po niya, nag-resign siya sa kung ano ang pwesto niya uh, para magkaroon ng open and fair investigation. May I ask, who will conduct the investigation? Mr. Chair, I have uh, designated uh, General pa Pereras, who is the DDG for administration, to conduct the investigation and submit the findings within uh, one month at the end of uh, 31 August, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Hindi ba siya na-assign sa office ni Gerald Ferreira? Hindi na. At sagutin niyo muna ako, General. Bago yes, kayo mag-explain. Yes. Yes, Tapos Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Hindi po ba? Yes. So, he's, she's assigned there? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Oh, Mr. So, Chair. Uh, it's clear uh, to, this, uh, to the members of this committee na si Gerald Ferreira will will be the one to conduct the investigation. And so far as uh, the allegations uh, against uh, Angie Bautista are concerned, okay? Uh, may I know uh, when that investigation will be finished? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, it will be August 31 uh, at the end of the month so that uh, we will be able to know immediately. Thank you. Kasi a while ago, uh, uh, may merong nagtanong ay nagsasabi, I think it was the it is it was the chairman of the uh, the Committee on Public Order and Safety na Miss Bautista or Madam Bautista entered the view core as a casual. And uh, when was that, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, according to her September of what year? 2019. 2019. So in four years from casual, naging superintendent uh, at saka naging super, uh, head ng Correctional Institute for Women. Hindi po ba kayo nagtataka? We are wondering. I do not know. Ang bilis from casual to jail superintendent tapos naging head pa na Correctional Institute for Women. Can you explain that, General Katapang? Mr. Chair, uh, I did not appoint her because uh, it was... Hindi, your... hindi, explain mo nga muna yun kasi ikaw ngayon ng head eh. Or uh, your uh, director for personnel can answer these questions. <clears throat> When uh, Ms. Angie uh, Bautista worked with uh, Bucor, he, he applied for the job in 2019. Unfortunately, he re she resigned. Kaya lang ka nag -resign? May 15, uh, 2020, sir. May nag resign na? May 15, 20? 2020 po, sir. Mr. Ay, Your Honor. 2020. Oh, sige. Tuloy mo, General Katapang. Paano? Nag-resign na. Sige, paano uli nakabalik? Uh, Napakagulo eh. He applied again for a position of uh, Heya when I came in as uh, the new DG. So, when you came in, General Katapang, civilian na siya kasi resigned eh. And then she applied for the position of Heya. Tama ba? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, you're, you're correct, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, did she pass all the requirements to become a heya? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, because uh, he went through the process of being appointed, Mr. Chair. Yung, 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 Juan, ang, ang, hindi ko naman, Juan, yung mga qualifications and documents. Oh, ikaw naman, generally. Alam mo yun eh, sa armed forces, ganyan eh. Sa PNP, ganyan din. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, she is qualified for the position, Your Honor. She is qualified. Ang nakapagtataka, nung pumasok siya sa Bucor noon, casual lang ang binigay sa kanya. Right? And because of the orders given by General Bantag, uh, naging jail superintendent. Tama? Huwag kang magtasa ng kamay. Angie Bautista, I will come to you. Antayin mo yung tanong ko. Yes, uh, he, 
her appointment uh, orders were signed by uh, the previous uh, DG, Your Honor. Yes. Could you please tell me, doon sa pagpapasan doon sa board, ano ba ang mga schooling ni uh, Miss Angie Bautista aside from yung uh, course na tinapos niya? Alam mo, General Kwan eh, noong si General Lacson ang nagde-defend ng budget ng Kwan, hindi siya pwedeng lumingon kasi napakahirap yung head ng institution ng PNP na tuwing tatanungin, ililingon-lingon. Your people should do something so that you will not do that. They should be able to provide your information without you looking back. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Yes. Ano po ang, kung niribisan nyo talaga yung records ni Madam Bautista, ano po yung mga schooling na inandago niya? Kasi, unfortunately, Mr. Chair, they are still looking for the documents. Uh, I beg your indulgence, Mr. Chair, Your yes. Honor. I don't... And therefore, what does the what conclusion can you take from your statement? Uh, that's part of the. And then, what conclusion can we take from your statement? Na hindi nyo na vet properly. Uh, I think uh, he was vetted properly. Uh, ano nga yung schooling? Sino ang sino ang head ng kwan board na nagkwan uh, sa kanya? It's an selection board. Sino ang head nun? At that time, uh, Your Honor, it was uh, Brigadier General Aro. He was the, the head of the... Uh, no, the, the, the are, you aware, are you aware that General Aro and uh, Madam Bosses are related? It was uh, later that no, I... No, 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 Your Honor. No, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. You do not so, know no, that they are Mr. in loss? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. You don't know that. Unfortunately, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, I yes. think they did not know that. Kasi nagtataka ako, hindi niyo makita kung anong schooling na ginawa ni o pinasukan ni Madam Bautista. Because from being a jail officer one up to her retirement sa BGMP, wala siyang schooling per records of the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. And that's why she retired. She made an undertaking that she would retire on a certain year kasi ayaw niyang mag-schooling. Do you know that? No, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Aba, eh, eh, point of order, Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, what's the point of order of the good We do not Marina. want Madam Bautista to always shake her head every time a question is being asked. So the, uh, uh, the uh, resource speaker, uh, Superintendent Ajit, you are reminded uh, not to uh, make any uh, uh, facial gesture no, on this uh, committee. Otherwise, we will be citing you in contempt. My apology, Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, your apology is accepted. Go ahead, uh, Congressman Ako. So, your vetting process uh, was not uh, conducted efficiently, uh, General Katapang. Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Now, uh, Dr. Katapang, uh, I think I heard you na pinapayagan mo na magkaroon ng cellphone ng mga cellmates. Would that be true? No, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor. Yung Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi is needed for the laptop, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. And you allow the PDLs to avail of that? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. May I know the rationale behind this? Uh, because of the first, the laptop was do donated by the. And the ang tanong ko is who for ang the. Ang tanong ko eh, hindi ko naman din tanong who donated it. Eh. Ang tinatanong ko the rational behind allowing it. Uh, it was a uh, part of the uh, Philippine Development Plan uh, that we allow e dalaw system to be implemented. P. Dalaw system. E. Dalaw okay. system, your, Mr. Chair, your honor. Okay. Now, 
there, during the term of uh, Gerald Bato de la Rosa there, there were scramblers uh, uh, put there, right? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. There were. Nandung parin sila? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Are they working? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Kasi, General Katapang, uh, may nagsiswitch on and off yan, di ba? Nagwardya? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Oh, yung comsec ng uh, justice, alam niya ito eh, dahil yung trial ni, yung uh, hearing ni General De Lima, lumapas lahat ito eh. Ah? Na ginawang hanap buhay din yun. Kasi binabayaran yung yung nagsi-switch on and off ng uh, uh, pag-scramble ng mga messages. Alam nila yung time na papatayin eh. Hmm? Would that be true? I would I would assume yes Mr. Chair, yes. Your Honor. Yes. And during that time after the hearing of uh, the case of the Honorable Dilima then Eh, inalis lahat ang kubul doon. Would that be true also? Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor. Yes. Now, sino kaya ang nagsabi na pwede na uling magtayo ng kubul doon? Um, Mr. Chair, I allowed the putting up of the makeshift uh, quarters in as much uh, that we cannot anymore put inside the uh, the PDLs, because at any one time there are there are about uh, three thousand to four thousand who are not uh, who are just sleeping at the basketball court in open space, your Mr. Chair. Now it's a rainy yeah. season. I have to allow them to put up the. Sino po kaya yung nag-avail dun sa kubul na yon? My specific guidance, Mr. Chair, is everybody should be accommodated, even the those uh, kubul that were were not destroyed. Make sure that if that kubul can accommodate about 20 persons, you allow them. That's my specific instruction to the to the management of uh, the new believed prison. How? As much as we want to be fair, you know, fairness for everyone, as uh, stated paano, by... Paano po masusunod yun? Alam po ninyo, yung, sa investigation yung Dilima case dito... Kung sino ang makapag-avail sa ako uh, sa sa ano yun? Kubol na yun ay may binabayaran. Yes. Were you aware of that? Na noong buwan eh ganun? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. And did you make sure na walang nabayaran nung uh, inauthorize mo yung pagpapatayo ng kubol uli? Ah, uh, Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, because I always talk to the uh, uh, commanders that there there should be proper accounting on the COBOL that are being put up in their respective uh, barangays, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Yung pong sinabi ninyo na pwedeng magpasok ng mga food kasi human right ng mga ating mga kwan, ng ating mga uh, PDLs. I would agree with that. Provided you come up with strict measures to see to it na hindi makapasok yung contraband. But as it is, I think last April may nakapasok na contraband because of this uh, protocol. Tama po ba? Uh, we are still verifying that, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Yes. Kasi sa investigation sa Dilima case, the drug oper illegal drug operations continue even outside the national penitentiary. Uh, if you want to read the the, the report of the or the committee report uh, of that the committee, report, then committee. nandun sa findings na yun. It's there. You can get a copy of that from uh, the archives of this uh, house. Nandun yung mga findings. Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, we will do that. Now, uh, 
would it be correct na inalaw mo yung mga PDS na mag-transact ng business in the amount of 2,000 pesos? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Saan po nila gagamitin yung 2,000 pesos na yun? Mr. Chair, that is good for one week and they use it to buy their food and their medicines which we cannot provide. One week, ha? Sabi yes, mo, Mr. Chair. If I am not uh, mistaken, sabi mo one day. Ngayon, one week na. Uh, so, I, I you are amending correct, it. I stand corrected, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, one week. So, in a month, 8,000. 8, yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. May I know the protocol, how this uh, uh, PDS would avail of that? Unfortunately. Paano sila nakakaroon ng 2,000 pesos? At ga galing saan? Uh, there's a... Uh... Previously, uh, during the pandemic, uh, there was a, a provider who... Sino yung provider? Uh, he, he is uh, available, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor. For, What's the name of the provider? As uh, investigated during the Senate hearing, her name is uh, Molly... Mondihar, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Your Honor. Yeah, uh, how was she able to engage in that kind of work there inside the National Believed Prison? Um, may I ask my uh, BBC to explain? Because uh, I'm not really privy to that. Uh, ibig, ibig niyo sabihin, nakapasok yan na uh, wala man lang proseso? Uh, Hindi man lang siya napili? There's a bidding, um, Your Honor, signed uh, way back January 19, 2023, the prohibition of personnel to engage in GCAS business among persons deprived of liberty and uh, accreditation of uh, general ma merchandise as official GCAS courier within the Bucor or Bilibid prison, Mr. Chair. Yeah, pero... Bakit may GCAS? Uh, because that was the that happened during the pandemic, Your Honor. The, so, there was no visitation. Wala na allowed. pandemic ngayon. Would you still allow it? Uh, I'm asking my uh, staff to review the procedure. No, I'm asking for your personal opinion. Personally, I'd like to disallow it, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. 